Come on, Hux. He spent 10 years completely alone at this zoo, just absolutely miserable and laying by himself. Huxley really didn't have anyone or anything. You could see on his face that he had completely given up on life. My name is Ryan, and this is Huxley's story for GeoBeats. We are Uncle Neil's home, our sanctuary for rescued farmed animals. Huxley was rescued from a petting zoo. He was known to zoo goers as the depressed ram. He was confined in a pen with no shelter, no matter what the weather was. He was not being fed a proper diet. People were really just throwing things over the fence to him, so he was very overweight, which was really, really hard on his body. Additionally, he didn't have a single friend. He spent every single day, 24-7, day and night, in the corner by himself. It's freezing outside. He has no shelter. No one's here. He's all alone. I'm so sorry, buddy. I said to myself and I said to him every single time I went to see him, I'm going to get you out of here. Every time I closed my eyes at night, I saw him lying there. He would keep me up at night. I envisioned him being alone there, not knowing that anyone cared or anyone cared about his life. We submitted an urgent proposal to county commissioners to release the three most critical animals to us in order for us to get them medical care and give them a wonderful life that they've always deserved. On December 23rd, 2021, County Commissioner said, we're going to release the ram to you. And I picked him up the next day. It was amazing to meet him, not behind a fence. I looked into his eyes and I just tried to tell him through physical touch and through my words that he's safe now. Walking him into his bed that first night was such an emotional time because he had his first soft bed to sleep on. He spent every single day for over 10 years completely miserable. So he was probably very confused, experiencing love and respect for the first time. It took him a little bit to get comfortable, but as soon as he realized that we were feeding him and refreshing his water and fluffing his bed every night and giving him fresh straw to sleep on, I really do think that he knew that he was safe. And it really proved to us that love heals. I see in his face that he starts every single day with a new zest for life. As we started to care for him and really spend so much time with him, giving him all of this medical care, his personality really blossomed. Your house. We always gave him his favorite snack, which is bananas. Yeah. Hi, Rio. Hey, Rio. He started to want to spend time around the rest of our residents. But first, he really kept to himself. He didn't have any friends when he was at the zoo, so he really wasn't used to connecting with other animals. Huxley needs a lot of medical care. He was neglected for so many years that he developed osteoarthritis. And so he goes to the hospital every six months for steroid injections. We do laser therapy sessions at home. He's on a very strict medication and supplement regimen to keep him as comfortable as possible. We built him a ramp in order for him to easier get into his stall. He has this cherry tree that blossoms really beautifully in the spring and he absolutely loves sitting underneath it. The two of us would sit underneath that tree for hours at a time and I would just scratch his neck, which is his favorite spot. And I would just do these little things for him that I knew made his life better and that I could show him how loved he was. He just lives every single day very, very happy. He's a different person than when we first met him, which has been incredible to watch. Huxley stole a piece of my heart that he will forever hold with him. I can't stop smooching his face. <laughs> Our goal here every single day is to flood his life with so much love that his past life is just a vague, distant memory. He is living the life that he always deserved. I hope Huxley understands how important he is to me. He taught me never to give up, to be strong and fight what you believe in. I love all of our residents here, but there is just the one that really connects to your soul. And Huxley is that person for me.